We propose and solve a new problem of intrinsic video estimation, in which we extract temporarily coherent albedo and shading from video alone. The input is a video sequence. We optimize an objective function that integrates temporal coherence information from the optical flow, as well as occlusion and motion boundaries extracted from the flow. The output is temporarily coherent sequences of albedo and shading. We define intrinsic video as the factorization of video into albedo, shading, optical flow, occlusion, and motion boundaries. Here, we see a synthetic sequence with changing illumination. The boxes in the video illustrate what is happening at individual pixels. On the right, we see how the pixel values change over time. Note that the corresponding albedo is constant, and that the shading value changes slowly. Optical flow tells us which pixels are in correspondence. This provides strong temporal constraints for estimating intrinsic video. We evaluate intrinsic video estimation on three synthetic video sequences and three real video sequences. In this example, a camera is freely moving and illumination varies significantly over time. Here, we show the input video and its corresponding ground truth, albedo, shading, optical flow and occlusion. The illumination sphere simply visualizes the varying lighting during the video. The input to our method is a video sequence, from which we compute an approximate flow field using the classic plus NL method with default settings. We compare our intrinsic video method, called IV here, with previous methods denoted as CRET and GS. CRET is a Retinex model, while GS uses a global sparsity prior. Both of these methods put too much high-frequency albedo information into the shading image. Also, the albedo changes significantly from frame to frame. In contrast, our albedo image retains most details and the shading is piecewise smooth, mostly obeying object boundaries. Here, we illustrate the quality of flow estimation on the sequence of estimated albedo images produced by different methods. This provides a measure of how temporarily coherent the albedo is. An albedo sequence with better temporal coherence will produce flow images that look closer to the ground truth flow. Our albedo sequence is clearly more coherent than the albedo estimated by previous methods. In addition, note that the flow computed from our albedo sequence is more accurate than the flow computed from the original images. This suggests that intrinsic video may be useful to improve optical flow estimation. In this synthetic example, all objects in the scene are moving, while the camera translates. Illumination does not change much in this case. Our method again outperforms previous methods. The albedo estimated by previous methods misses many details, and their shading images contain lots of albedo information. Our method is qualitatively and quantitatively better. Coherence of our albedo is better than that from previous methods and the original images. In this example, the camera zooms in from the fourth frame, and the illumination variation is more drastic than in the previous example. Our method outperforms previous methods. Again, our flow computed from our albedo is closer to the ground truth, showing improved temporal coherence of albedo. The input video captures a static outdoor scene with a freely moving camera. A flashlight on top of the camera was used to vary illumination over time fairly drastically. The shading from previous methods carries a lot of albedo information. In contrast, our shading sequence has few albedo details and well captures the overall shape of the scene mostly obeying object boundaries. While there is no ground true flow for this sequence, our reconstructed albedo produces less noisy flow fields, suggesting that our albedo has better temporal coherence than others. In this example, all objects continuously move, but the background stays still. The camera and light sources are fixed. The shading from Cret almost completely misses the shape of the scene, and the albedo from GS is inconsistent between frames. Our albedo is very consistent in time, and our shading well captures overall shape of the scene. Coherence of our albedo is a lot better than the albedo estimated from previous methods.
In this example, we introduce slowly varying illumination by mounting a continuous light source on top of the moving camera. Our method again significantly outperforms previous ones. The input video already has good coherence, but our albedo shows even better coherence, especially around boundaries of the cube.